In this video, I'm going to describe what I'm going to call al algorithmic row reduction, which means I want to row reduce this matrix to obtain an upper triangular matrix. And I want to do it in a mechanical manner that we could teach to a machine. So we want to follow a procedure at each step that, that's repeatable and that can be determined without any real thought. So let me just first mention what the goal is. The goal here is to obtain zeros in the lower left, left corner. So we're trying to take this matrix and using uh, permissible operations, which is multiplying rows by any values and then adding or subtracting to other rows, uh, we want to obtain a matrix that's going to end up looking like this. Uh, so it's an upper triangular matrix where I have the stars. There will be some numbers, but we don't know what those numbers are. So uh, we want to follow a process to obtain those zeros. And the process basically goes like this. We obtain these two zeros here first. And we do that by taking multiples of the first row and subtracting them from the other two rows. Um, and you could think of adding, but uh, it, for later purposes, it's going to be good to, to uh, utilize subtraction here. So to uh, obtain a zero where this four is, what I want to do is, uh, is, mul is subtract some multiple of this 2 right here. So it should be clear that 4 minus 2 times that 2 would be 0. But let's see how we could obtain that in sort of a, like I said, a mechanical manner. Um, so the idea is that we want to take 4 minus some multiple of 2 and get 0. And it's fairly clear that the multiple we're looking for is 2. But um, what we want to do, again, is see a mechanical way to obtain that. So the idea is this. We take the, the value in the 1, 1 position, which is the circle 2, which also happens to be this 2 right here. And we divide it by itself. So when we divide by itself, um, we create the value 1. And then we can simply multiply 1 uh, by the number we're trying to get 0 for, this 4. Okay, so I put a 4 here. Okay, so again, the denominator 2 is coming from the circle 2 in the matrix, and the numerator 4 is coming from the underlined 4. If we were to continue the same idea and look at the, um, the third entry in that first column, the negative 2, uh, what do we want to do there? We want to take negative 2, and subtract some multiple of positive 2, the 2 that's in the 1, 1 position. And again, we divide it by itself, and then we multiply by the entry we're trying to turn to 0 right now, which is the negative 2. So you can see the upshot of all that is really to just take negative 2 and add 1. I'm sorry, add positive 2, which would give us 0. And so we would do that, and then um, then what we would do is use the entry that ends up here where the negative 1 is. It won't be negative 1. It'll be some other value. But we use that to obtain a 0 where the underlined 5 is. So let's go ahead. Maybe, maybe it'll be clearer if we actually work through an example. So let's go to the next page. Um, so we're going to use the same matrix. And I'm just going to do a step at a time here. So what I want to do is take row 2 where the 4 is. And I'm actually going to create a new row, too. So we'll write this like this. Um, when I do this, this will be the new row, two here. Uh, so that's what this notation will mean. And then I'll have row 2 minus. Okay, so here's, here's the old row, two. And what I want to do is, again, subtract some multiple of row 1 and obtain uh, a new matrix. Okay, so again, the multiple, what we're doing is uh, we're trying to obtain a 0 where that 4 is. So what we want to do is take row 1 and divide by 2. That will turn the 2 at the, at the start of row 1 to a 1. And then we multiply it by 4. And that will turn it to, to uh, 4. And then when we do the subtraction, we'll get 0. Okay, so again, let me, let me show where these things are coming from. Uh, this 2 in the denominator, I'll circle in green, is coming from there. And the 4 in the numerator is coming from there. Okay, so 
when I do the, uh, the subtractions, I get, I leave the first row alone. The second row becomes uh, itself minus uh, two times the first row. The four over two reduces to two, of course. So we get zero here, and then we'll have negative three in this spot and negative three in this spot. The last row remains the same for, for now until we do the same kind of operation on it. So now we have that. And now what we want to do is the same kind of thing again to obtain a zero in the lower left corner, which I'm going to, uh, let me circle that in red. So we've, we're now trying to get a zero in that spot. Okay, so what we're going to do is we take row three, and the new row three is going to be the old row three minus some multiple of row one. We continue to use row one to get zeros uh, in the first column below the first entry there of 2. So once again, I want to divide by 2 so that I, I divide that circled green 2 by uh, 2 to get 1. And then I multiply by negative 2 um, in order to then get a, neg a value of negative 2, which is what I'm subtracting. Now, of course, that really is the same as just taking row 3 and adding row 1. You can see that. So the result is uh, 0 here, and then 6 here, and 8 here. Of course, rows 2 and, and 1 remain the same from our last step. So we have negative 3, negative 3, and 2, 1, and 3. So um, that brings us up to this point. Let me point out again where these things are coming from. So this 2 in the denominator, again, is the green circled 2. Um, but this negative 2 in the numerator is the negative 2 that I've circled in red, both in the original matrix and in the matrix that results from the first step. So now let's go on and finish. The last thing we need to do is obtain uh, a 0 here where this 6 is. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to the next page. So you can see here's the result from the first two steps. Now what I want to do is take row 3, and we're not going to use row 1 anymore because if we do, we'll lose our 0 in the lower left corner. So row 3 is going to be the old row 3 uh, minus some multiple of row 2. Okay, so now what we want to do is take the value in row 2 that we're looking at, the negative 3, and we want to divide by that. So I've got a divide by negative 3, the negative 3 being right here where I'm circling in green. Okay, and then I want to multiply by 6, which I'm circling with blue. Okay. So when we do that, of course, you can see the net result is going to be to take row 3 and subtract uh, twice row 2. Uh, actually, we'll be adding twice row 2 when, because we have minus a negative. So the final result of that then is 2, 1, 3, and we have 0, negative 3, negative 3, and then row 3 now turns into 0, 0, and again we're really just adding twice uh, row 2, so this becomes a 2 in this spot. Okay, so that's, that's how we do our, our mechanical procedure for row reducing matrices by um, obtaining new rows by subtracting multiple multiples of other rows. So in the next video, what we'll do is take a look at how this process um, actually gives us the lower triangular matrix for an LU factorization.